Christine, tell me a little bit more about yourself. So my name's Dr. Christine Pickup. I'm an audiologist. I've been in the field of audiology for over 20 years. It's kind of hard to believe. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a wife and mom. We have four kids. Um, about five years ago, we found I founded with my husband Mount Harrison Audiology in Rupert, Idaho. And we did that because there was a need in our community for more than just a place to get a quick hearing test and buy a hearing aid. Uh, hearing health is complicated and it reaches a wide range of ages. So our clinic actually takes care of pediatrics, takes care of all ages and stages. And I know one of your main clinical focuses at Mount Harrison is diabetes. Why? That's a good question. Um, my why is because I live with diabetes. And what I've learned in managing my uh, health condition is that chronic conditions like hearing loss and diabetes and arthritis are not quick fixes. Um, you learn how to manage your condition. And so there's a lot of similarities with how we manage diabetes and how we manage hearing loss. And it's really helped me craft uh, our approach to how we treat our patients. One of the things that you shared with me, Christine, is maybe there's a lack of knowledge there for patients on having diabetes and how the ears relate or what the starting point is there. That's true. So most people in the uh, lay community know if you're diabetic, you should have your eyes checked and you probably ought to have your feet checked. And that's the same for most doctors. That's the recommendation. So get your feet checked, get your eyes checked once a year. But what people don't always realize is that hearing loss can occur in diabetics as well. So the same damage that happens to your feet or happens to your eyes can also affect the inner ear. And so it's really important, just like you get your feet checked and you get your eyes checked, you need to have your hearing checked if you are living with diabetes. And a lot of our patients here um, always complain or mention the ringing in their ears. Is that somehow related? Actually, yes. So um, in a, a small population that we've seen on a consistent basis, people who are newly diagnosed with diabetes often report ringing in their ears. And that's a first symptom that there's damage happening to the inner ear. And if a patient comes to Mount Harrison, where's the starting point? What does that appointment look like for a new patient coming in? Good question. Um, first, we wanna go through an inventory, uh, a questionnaire, if you will, so that we can understand why you're there. We wanna know what your purpose is and how we can best facilitate your care. So once we go through that patient uh, interview, then we'll do a thorough diagnostic exam. We start from the outer ear and we work all the way up to the brain. So we wanna check all the parts of the ear and how the ear and brain are connected and working well together so that we can have the best picture of what may be affected and how we can best help you moving forward. And where should a patient go to get in touch or seek more information? So best place to start is our website, mountharrisonaudiology.com. And on our website, we have a lot of educational material about different hearing loss conditions. And um, it's a great resource to start with. And then, of course, we'd love for you to come in and see us as well. Well, thank you for sharing your mission and your story with us. Thank you for your time.